What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode 34 of our Pokemon Legends of the Arena Demo Explorer. Last time, we grabbed the Surf HM and started our way on the way to... On the way to... On the way to Sunstone Village and Peppermint Island. Uh, and at the end of the episode, our Pinocchio ascended. Thanks to this wonderful Joe's Sea Shop. Joe's Seaside Shop. In today's, excuse me, in today's episode, we're going to be trying to make it all the way to Peppermint Island, uh, where we can continue on with the story, where we continue on with the tournament, etc., etc. If you do wind up enjoying today's episode, hit the thumbs up down below and answer our question of the day, which is a part two on last on yesterday's question. So yesterday's question asked, what if you were in charge, if you had a part of the Pokemon for Switch development, what is one feature that you would make sure was added? Today's question is going to be, when you play Pokemon, do you like the games to be more difficult? Or do you like them to be more about the adventure? Let me explain what I mean. You know, Pokemon Black 2, White 2, I think, had the challenge mode, um, which was, you know, difficult. Everyone says that Gen 6 and Gen 7 are super easy, and they say it's because of the experience share. I'm going to go ahead and get started moving. Um, you know, they're like, oh, well, you get the experience share, etc., etc. And it's like... I guess we're going to go straight into my opinion. You can turn the experience share off. You can turn the experience share off. Like, why? I don't understand why that's so difficult for people to grasp that concept. Um, because, like, when I played through Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire the very first time, I was using a Primal Groudon on the team, and the way that my game finished against Steven, the champion, is my Groudon, who was my last Pokemon, finished with four hit points. All of my other Pokemon had fainted, and I had four hit points left on the last turn. His Pokemon went first and took me all the way to four. I had a blast. I loved Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. In fact, I want to play through it again, uh, but it's not coming up for quite a while. Uh, so I'm okay with the difficulty of the game. I thought Ultra Sun and Moon, like, the, there's no way anybody went in blind to the Ultra Necrozma battle and won on the first try. I wouldn't believe it. If someone told me that, I wouldn't believe it. I... I wasn't expecting to run into anything. I forgot that... Uh, I forgot how repels work. Anyway. So, I'm okay with the difficulty of the games. Do I wish that challenge mode was back? Yes, absolutely. That's one thing I really like about the uh, about fan-made games is that they have like Nuzlocke mode. Like if you look at um, Pokemon Insurgents, uh, Pokemon Insurgents has a Nuzlocke mode. So when your Pokemon dies, it actually dies. So you don't have to, you know, set that up yourself. That's just my thoughts. Um, so, I say all that to say, I'm okay with the with the way the difficulty has been, because Ultra Sun and Moon. Now, now I'm thinking about it. There are several trainers throughout. You know, the the lead trainers are the totem trainers in each route. You know what I'm talking about? They were difficult, and a couple of them even beat me. Uh, which, by the way, if you haven't checked out that LP. Uh, you should definitely check that LP out. That was a great series. Oh my gosh. And the graphics that I made. Woo! I love those graphics. 
Those were, those, those were easily my favorite graphics that I've ever made. I'm pretty sure I, I did a... I feel I did a really good job on those graphics. So... Anyway, moving on. I'm okay with the difficulty of the Pokemon games. I really wish that there was a... Uh, uh, shut up. I really wish that there was a challenge mode. I really wish there was a challenge mode. So that's my answer to that. And I'll probably keep talking about... It's going to be hard. They're going to have Ice Beam. I know for a fact they're going to have Ice Beam. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure this one's going to have Ice Beam. I'm going to surf. No! That doesn't make sense. Why does Surf hit all... Man. Was that just Gen 4 mechanics? He still died. Alright, I don't... That's so frustrating. Because I bet he wouldn't have died without that surf. I bet he wouldn't have died without that surf. Okay, anyway. Anyway, we will heal him. This is his episode. It's his turn to shine. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I've just on the topic of more difficult Pokemon games. I feel like people don't give the credit that I feel is deserved. There's a sea monster coming after us. Everybody panic. Should I give a hint? Pretty sure I saw my friend Doug get eaten by this monster. That's terrible. It's okay, if anyone was going to be eaten by a monster, I'd rather it be Doug. Um, this is so typical. The one day I leave my Pokemon at home, a huge red monster shows up. Should I say it out loud? Should I say it out loud? What's all this ruckus about a sea monster? I came here to fish! Hey, I'm just trying to swim. Huge red monster. There's, there's nothing like that. Sounds like... Should I catch it? I can catch it. I mean, I guess I'm supposed to click on it. Um, here, let's go into catch it mode. Also, it's part flying. Alright. Warning, this Pokemon cannot be caught. That's a shiny Mega? Yeah, a shiny Mega Gyarados. It's gonna die, but I mean, it's cool. The Gyarados swam away. Found one dragon scale. It's time. Hold on. Hold on. Double check. We're just double checking. Dragon pulse at 57. Oh, wait. I'm almost there. Hold on. Hold on, I'm almost there. Uh, this one. Dragon Pulse at 57, it's the same. 
My team! We've been waiting for so long for this! And now... Our team... Is at full power! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Ooh! Look at those stats! Is there- okay, well you're all hundreds. You're all hundreds. You're almost all hundreds. You're terrible. Jesus. You're pretty bad too. Someone get this guy off the team. Get, get someone get him out of here. All right. Uh, Pinocchio, you're back. Now, Pinocchio will stay towards the top. Wait, are these guys going to say anything? All right, surely there's some more with that Gyarados. Surely that wasn't it. Surely that wasn't it. Ah. Uh, there'll be more. I'm probably dead. Alright, Claire. Woo! Full power, Claire. Let's go surf. There's no need to do much more than that. Ouch. You're just kicking everything, aren't you? <laughs> I was about to be very shocked. Like, that was going to surprise me. Sending out another Metacham. It's just got a lot more stupid all of a sudden. What the heck was that? Yes, I'd like to heal. That was so stupid. This came out of nowhere. This came out of nowhere just swinging. High jump kick here, high jump kick there. Like, what the heck? Alright, whatever. Nope. Okay, here we go. Back into the groove. Back into the groove. You're dead. So we'll use Pinocchio in this episode. In the next episode, we'll try and uh, showcase... Flare, Bullfish, I'll stay. I'm so dumb. All right, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go Galleon. Why'd you use Aqua Tail? Why did you use Aqua Tail? I need an answer. Pin Missile, 90% would have killed me. 90% would have killed me. 
the number of hit points that I have, 90%, it would have killed me. I am confused at your decision. And quite frankly... Tentacruel. See, now that... I've learned. I've learned that I can't handle, handle a Tentacruel. Also... I'm probably going to have to grind before the next tournament. Because... I haven't really gone up any levels. I've gone up like two or three levels each. So I'm probably going to have to grind before the next one. Assuming that the next tournament is not before another uh, event. Or, assuming there's not another event before it. Humu Milk on you, you, and sure. Alright, let's continue. All right. Ooh, you have a Lapras. You're going to use Ice Beam on me, aren't you? You're going to hurt my feelings, Lapras. Lapras? That is so frustrating. That is so frustrating. It's okay. It's okay. I I sh should have known better than to even try it. But I guess I was hopeful that Cut would be able to... Okay. All right. Well, let's try again. Okay. Should be good. Stop. Stop everything. I'm just gonna learn. Because this has happened more than once with this Pokemon. It is 90 base speed. I know that I'm a lowering speed nature. I'm base 80 speed. Alright, cool. Now I know. Holly Whirl is faster than Pinocchio, or is faster than Shifter. This thing has super power. Also has super fang. I also know that B Barrel is faster than Shifter. Is Shifter a slow Pokemon? Quagsire. If this Quagsire doesn't die, I'm going back to catch that Gloom. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right. Not a bad, not a, not a bad showing. Not a bad showing in that in that battle. We'll see how the next one goes. Oh shoot! I really didn't mean to get off, but what is this place? I don't know. Let's find out. How does this update and show me where I'm at? Yeah, it does. Okay, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. We might be able to make it today. Yes, please use the repel. Alright, I guess I'm supposed to... Yeah. Oh, these... Ah, oh, we're closed in! How are we supposed to get past these rocks? I told my sister you need to go via the island, but she doesn't listen. Is there like another underwater passage? Bro, that'd be awesome. I love the under... This guy came straight for me. He was... He maneuvered his way straight to where I was. Dang. That did a lot. Well, good job, Pinocchio. You were finally able to take out a tentacool all on your own. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Lantern? What the heck's the lantern gonna do to me? Good job, Pinocchio. 
That's that's good. You got some power in you. Tentacruel? Peace. <laughs> I know I can't handle a Tentacruel because it would poison jab, sludge, wave. Poison jab. Don't poison me, please. Thank you. I don't think you're gonna die. I don't think you're gonna die to this one either. I can only be mad at myself for that. I can only be mad at myself for that. I can only be mad at myself for that. That was just a whole series of not thinking. I went psychic to magical leaf. To psychic. Instead of another magical leaf. Doesn't make sense. Alright. Is there... I doubt there's a healing station. Oh, wow. Another guy. Man! There's a lot of people here. I really thought we'd be able to make it. Whalmer? Alright, can I just click A through all of these? Or are you going to have a tentacruel also? If he has a tentacruel, I might just go into... Uh, Luxray. Uh, Galleon. 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 Ooh, 55. This is the Pinocchio... The Pinocchio Showcase episode. So... That's exactly what we gonna do. We gonna showcase our boy. Why do I have 30 extra sensories? Now you might ask, why did I let him take that bounce? If you're gonna miss, you're gonna learn. I would be a good trainer. I would treat my Pokemon with extreme love and extreme care. But if you miss, you have to understand why you don't miss. So, you got bounced on. This guy really had six Whalmer. Evolve, bro. Doesn't Whalmer evolve at level 40? You just call me a Moby Dick. You know what? I'm. You ain't even worth my time to come up with a story about how I'm gonna end you. This is another trainer. Okay, whew. I really thought that was, that was about to be another trainer. Okay. Okay. Don't worry, you're on the right track. Find the cave to Sunstone Village. He fooled me. I, I was like kind of reading. Bird Keeper. Alright, Claire, come on. Oh, wait. Bird Keeper? I literally have a... Drop... Oh. Alright, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. When I find Ice Beam... That is what gets rid of high, uh... Ice Beam is what gets rid of... The sound effect. Anyway, Ice Beam is what is going to get rid of Hydro Pump. When I get Ice Beam onto Kingdra, we'll be good. We'll be, we'll be darn good. Oh, now I get the boost. Now I get the boost after it's over. Okay. Cool. Alright, I wonder how many more trainers are on this. Oh, 
Oh, I thought that was Ice Beam. Isn't Ice Beam like... No, Ice Beam is... Like, TM15, I think? Of course a lot. No, it's okay. I'm going to eat after this episode. I don't need to eat anything right now. Um... I'm, I'm honestly, I'm trying to find this cave. Hey, Hiker Victor, have you seen a cave? Oh, you know what? Let's transition. Let me, let me, let me, let me do this a professional way. We're going to transition. That was the Pinocchio showcase. Next time. Tune in next time where you can see Claire. Oko. Did I say Oko? I meant... I meant Tuko. That's what I... That's what I meant to say. I meant to say Tuko. The wrong thing slipped out. All right. Actually, I know I'm talking about like showcasing these two because they just evolved, but like they're not even our weakest Pokemon. Wow. I I was just gonna. I I thought we were just gonna come up here and it was gonna be over. Swablu? That's mad annoying. Do you have anything better than Twister? You have Cotton Guard, but that doesn't... That doesn't help you. Watch this thing just unload like a Dragon Pulse. That'd be hilarious. Speaking of Dragon Pulse, we do learn it in three levels. Our team is almost at literally max power. Is Altaria pure dragon? No, it is not. I suppose I could have gone into my not level 55. That's neutral effective, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Luck? Alright, um... Let me do just what I was saying. Let me do just what I was saying. Pluck. That's your play. You know, Altaria in Pokemon Go is 400 candies to evolve. And it sucks. Also... Sounds like someone's picking up a bunch of rocks and then when they throw them, just... It's just a big, just a big thump. There's <laughs> thump. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, okay. Discharge. Oh, yes. Let's get rid of thunder. Can we all agree that that's the right play? Alright, let me know if this is a dumb idea. I, I think it makes sense for everything except in double battles, but um, we're going to go Discharge instead because I don't like missing. Hold on. I don't know. I might wind up regretting that. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Alright, we're almost there. I know this episode's a little longer than most, but I really hate that I can see... I can see it. This is what? Route 20 to... S All right, I'm gonna save out here. 
that is going to be it for Legends of the Arena for the week. In today's episode, we were traveling towards... Sunstone Village. I don't know how... We're traveling towards Sunstone Village and we ran into a red Gyarados. That was exciting, right? It definitely didn't take two turns and do absolutely no damage to me. Um, and then we also got a Kingdra today. In the next episode, we make it all the way to Sunstone Village and continue on from there. If you enjoyed, hit the thumbs up down below and do answer our question of the day, which was, what do you think about the difficulty of Pokemon games? Would you like them to be harder? Do you just want there to be a challenge mode so there's an alternate? Do you use the experience share? Like, just let me know stuff in the comments down below. We'll see you next week for more Pokemon Legends of the Arena. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.